All right, guys. Got the X-ray over here. I got my belt off. There's the belt. Got the belt tensioner pulley that goes right here off. The reason why I got all this off is because if you take this motor and put it right there, the belt hits it. All right. All right, so the motor, this is the Mamba X right here. That's what I bought. This is one eight scale censored. I don't want nothing but censored. So anyways, the motor will not fit if it sits flush against the motor mount over there. So what I did was, I'm gonna show you. I sliced off this guy right here and I sliced it off right there. So the motor is gonna come up and it's gonna sit against something that's gonna, I'm gonna create right here, which I already have, right? So this motor is not gonna sit here. It's gonna sit beyond that. And then it's gonna have that adjustment all right, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. All right, and once I do that, you see this? Look at that. You got a lot of clearance. All right, more than enough. All right, so let's go outside and I'm gonna show you what I did, how I made this motor fit. All right, it's a mess here, but I just wanna show you guys. I used this metal plate. This is smaller than one inch, and you could get this from Home Depot for 10, 15 bucks. I had this thing sitting around. See all this mess? I did a lot of drilling, a lot of holing, and I came out with this piece, all right? See this piece right here? You got the hole in the top where the motor can move around, adjust, two holes in the bottom, one hole in the center, and I use it to grind that and to drill it with everything, all right? And I use an air cutoff tool, which is right here, all right? I drill the hole in my table right there, I locked it down and I cut it and I filed it really nice. So, let's go inside. Let me show you what I did here. So, I'm gonna take a moment. I'm gonna put this together. All right, so the camera's not gonna see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of my, these long screws that I have left over. And then I have these two right here. Only one mistake I made was, which is not a mistake, these two holes are too close because when I put this nut here, the other one's gonna have to overlap. All right, that's fine, long as it works. I'll put a few washers, very thin ones, and I'll have it sitting flush. I'll put a few thin washers, I'll cut them evenly so this, lug, this nut can sit right there, all right? The reason why is not a mistake because you don't have enough clearance right there. So this guy do need to move back and forth just like that. So the motor can adjust to this, the, the pitch gear, right? So let me put this in and then I'll show you what I did next. Oh, also, I used this piece of paper right here. I stuck it right through, just like that, all right? And then I marked the little holes accordingly so I could take this off, put it right there, just like that on the piece of paper. And I marked where I was gonna put this hole right here in here, right? This hole didn't come perfectly. It wouldn't align once I was done. But then I put a slice through it and that worked even better. Now I can adjust the motor this way as well, all right? All right, uh, let me put this together and then I'll show you. That's what I got in there so far. I'm not gonna put the second one in because the best way for me to do it is put everything together. Once the motor is in, I can reach from all the way down here and tighten this, all right? Because it's gonna overlap. Then I'm not gonna be able to tighten it because as I show you, I am gonna lock the motor down and I'm gonna leave it there, all right? But I might just put it there so it can sit to the side. All right, I might do that, all right? Nice. I put one screw going this way, the other one going that way. As you can see right there, that way they don't hit each other. If I had the other lug this way, they would have hit each other, but Right there, you see that? I can still adjust it, all right? I can make the motor go back and forth. Plus, over here, I could turn the motor probably quarter of an inch before the shaft hits here, so I can go back and forth, back and forth, all right? I am gonna be painting this down the road, so when you see my car in action, after a few runs, this is not gonna be the same color, all right? I might try to get the same color, and let's see, all right? But I'm gonna put the motor in next, I'm gonna show you. All right guys, there I have it, all right? My light is really bright, 
but I got the motor in. Just want to show you guys, all right? I have to do more than what I already showed you guys, a little bit more, but I'm going to explain to you exactly what I did. All right, guys, so my battery died. Um, had to charge it up and uh, fix up my, uh, the memory died. I finished that also, so I'm kind of in the video. Anyways, so again, I'm going to pop this gear off. I'm going to show you guys what I did. See that center hole? I drilled it bigger, all right? I drilled it bigger, right, so the shaft and this gear can go right through, because if it would, if it were not to go through, this gear will only touch slightly, all right. So I got it to go as much as I can in there, but still I have a little bit of slack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little spacer. I'm gonna have to get a spacer. I'm gonna have to remove this gear by taking off that right there. Put a little bit of spacer right there, one more size. And this gear should go back a little bit and that should even that out all right so that's about it that's how i got this motor in and uh there you have it guys if you need to do it a lot of mods make sure you use thread lock red is pretty good to lock all this up and the sensor the cable right here guys is gonna travel right through where this guy is all right the belt all right it's gonna travel right through the belt you should not have too much slack in it. You should have slack, but it should not hit that, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie this as perfect as I can, all right? You can even try to get it to go down under straight and just run it against the motor and bring it up through the bottom, right? I'll figure something out, but right now, this is my theory right here. I'm gonna have it right there. But there you go, got the motor in, made a base out of the metal piece, and that's it. Make sure you thread lock everything. And also down the road, I'm gonna put something in the back here to support the motor from moving around and I'll strap tie it down. So there's something that's gonna be like a base to it. So I'm not pushing against the mount. So that way there's no vibration and it does not move around, right? So thank you, bye-bye, see you in the next one.